Advent helped team members gather to observe National Day of Prayer. Adults and children run for a good cause in Friedensau, Germany. Five Adventist summer camps are listed among the best in the United States. Inclusive Church in Italy conducts a variety of activities and programs focused on serving others. Pathfinder Club boasts over 2 million members and spans across 160 countries. These stories and more coming up on ANN. Students at Appleton Adventist Academy in Columbia, Maryland, USA participated in Go Green with ADRA to commemorate National Arbor Day. The Adventist Development and Relief Agency launched the Go Green with ADRA initiative to inspire young people to learn about the benefits of planting trees for more sustainable and livable communities. doing the tree planting because it's ADRA's 40th year anniversary, so 40 years of service um, around the world. Today, um, me and some kids are planting trees all around the campus um, to liven the campus and to help with um, oxygen, shade, and other places. It's important for us to uh, work with our, where, the community where we reside, for uh, the children and the students to understand the value of the small things they're doing at home and how it impacts global impact, especially with climate change. We had tree saplings and the saplings were inside of the buckets so that the roots would not dry out while we were planting the trees. We had kids from three years old up to 17 years old, plus the staff and the other support team. But I think trees are something that everybody understands. And so I was able to relate that to some of the work that ADRA does around the world and how we're planting physical and metaphorical seeds of change in the communities where we work around the world. First you need to dig a big enough hole to fit all the roots. We had quite a few ADRA folks, um, staff members come out. Uh, I needed 10 group leaders to serve. My name is Ketty and this is my daughter, Lily. We are so happy to be here. My favorite part of the, this activity was to interact with the children. It was amazing to see that they enjoy planting new trees. The buckets are for watering the trees after we're done. Pretty much just making sure the trees have a head start so they're healthy and moisturized. The soil is moisturized. We love ADRA, what ADRA does around the world, uh, globally, helping to make the world a better place, making uh, tough situations, looking at challenges, and coming up with solutions for sustainability. And that's something that, as a school, we love opportunities where our students are able to partner with hands-on. It's always enjoyable to see kids try to work with their hands, because many of them don't really get that experience. That's my old school, my alma mater, so you know, Go Green for Adra, uh, one of the teachers here. Uh, we grew up together here too. So having Danny here was really good that a lot of students here will you know, look up to him maybe and want to do that or pursue that later on in life. I appreciated that Adra came to our school to help us plant trees. So now the campus will be prettier in the springtime. And the things that we do, the different ideas we come up with that we engineer to benefit the environment is all an integral part of STEM education for all grades. And also for spiritual growth of our students as they see that how, what they're doing is impacting God's creation. Um, to prevent weeds from growing around the plant and um, siphoning all the life from it, then you need to make sure to put a protector around it so the tree doesn't blow away or break. And so animals can't get into it either. So the challenge was that whichever group was able to plant their trees successfully, most quickly, would get to paint Pastor Frank's hair green. I think it's wonderful that in 20 years we'll have this uh, wonderful row of red buds uh, welcoming people onto our campus. It is our desire that we continue to connect with ADRA to be able to provide experiences that connect our young people to the real world. And today was an excellent example of them making a difference. When they become alumni, they'll be able to come back and say, I was a part of this. 
I helped to plant this tree. I helped it to grow. I didn't know much about planting trees before. And today I had fun learning how to plant them and um, what to do with them. Go green with Adra! Dozens of team members circled around sculptures depicting the healing in Bethesda in the lobby of Advent Health's Altamonte Springs, Florida, United States corporate campus. They paused and reflected on the National Day of Prayer celebrated the first Thursday in May. In person and virtually, those in attendance prayed, read, and sang together. Prayers were lifted for doctors, nurses, frontline workers, and patients, as well as for team members, communities, the nation, and the world. Variations of this event took place on Advent Health campuses around the country. More than 50 people participated in the 2023 Forest Run for a Good Cause in Friedensau, Machern, Germany. For each lap run by every runner, a specified amount of money is then transferred to a donation account, and within a week, funds are withdrawn from the runner's account. The running lap length this year was 1.5 miles, or 2.5 kilometers, for the adult lap and around 2,000 feet, or 600 meters, for the children's lap. The students of the Frieden South Theological University initiated the forest run. The Zabakuk Zoo, which provides work for people with disabilities, was chosen as the project to support for this charity run. Let's take a short break, and when we come back, you will hear more about the Pathfinder Club, an Adventist ministry that provides physical, mental, and spiritual activities for children and teenagers. Not only for those who are listening, but also for me. When I perform, I experience God in a way that words can't describe. The end of broken dreams. There can be miracles when you believe. Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels? Sharing my voice through song allows me to serve God and His people through music. That is how I live more vivid. Did you know that fish have personalities? If you have a dog or a cat, you know animals have individual personalities but we don't often think of fish having them. But in fact, they do. The most common way this can be seen is in how they relate to people and other fish. For example, pudding wife Ras are very comfortable around divers, letting them get extremely close. This guy probably let something get a little too close. Others, like this little pearly razorfish, are quite shy and have rather clever ways of getting away from you. Some fish prefer to live in large families, like these yellow tangs in Hawaii, while others prefer a lot of solitude, like this blue angelfish in Bermuda. All this shows just how much the master creator loves diversity and individuality. Neglecting shared family meals can keep you from achieving better health and weight control, positive social outcomes, better grades, and can also increase the chance of involvement with drugs, cigarettes, and alcohol. And these negative outcomes aren't just for kids. At the same time, numerous studies reveal that all ages, races, ethnic groups, levels of education, employment, and income benefit by eating with family. That's a fact. But there's hope. We eat every day. Reclaim the family table and make it a habit to eat together. In the next week, select one meal when all the people in your household sit down and eat together. Turn off the television and focus on listening to each other, sharing the day's stories, and nurturing the family connection. Not only will you be fostering better health in your family, but you may find that no one wants to leave the table. It's one thing to reach a goal, it's another thing to hang on to it. Would you like to form habits that last? 
I'm Vicki Griffin, host of Living Free. Join me for this exciting episode of Habits That Last and Situational Awareness. Formally recognized worldwide in 1950 by the General Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the Pathfinder Club has over two million members and spans across 160 countries. Get to know more about this ministry that works with children and teenagers between the ages of 10 and 15, providing physical, mental, and spiritual activities. To be a Pathfinder for me is a roller coaster of feelings. It is a box of surprises. You never know what is going to happen, but I like it. It is an adventure. It's an adventure, isn't it Duda? I am also part of this club. But after all, who are the Pathfinders? Let me tell you a little bit more about us. The Pathfinder Club is a project of the Seventh-day Adventist Church for boys and girls from 10 to 15 years old. It was first created in 1950 and already has more than 2 million members worldwide and is present in 160 countries. And here in Brazil, the Necrokeef Yellow Army already has more than 10,000 clubs. Our meetings are weekly and count with a wide variety of activities, from civic to recreational. We learn curiosities, we study on important subjects such as respect, solidarity, and, of course, the Bible. Here, we understand our duty in society and make friends for life. The adults on our board are trained to lead, and it's not just in here they become complete for life. They are the ones who guide us in our learning and representing an extension of our family. My role today with the children is to be an example for them of everything I went through one day in small situations that I know you can change, you can be different, you can be an example in this situation. So I think this is a little bit of what I try to show them. You can be an example at home, at school, with your friends, that's what I think is important to pass on to them. Isso é o que eu acho importante passar para eles. And you know when clubs decide to get together. That's right, then it becomes a campori. What a moment. I could not tell you about it of this event that is part of our calendar. It is a mega camp with many activities and that is marked in our lives by its greatness and importance. Being a Pathfinders is really cool because we go camping, do a lot of adventures and make a lot of friends. For me, in my life, my responsibility has changed. I made a lot of friends. So I highly recommend joining the Pathfinders Club because it is very good. Pure, kind, and true, not only within the club, but also in the community we show that we are servants of God and a friend to man through the social actions that we perform. Is it to show love to others? There we are. Is it to serve those in need? There is no bad time. Is it to support in emergency situations? You can count on us. I think this work is super important, very good, very interesting. This process of occupying the children, the young people, for a job in which he takes care of people, it's very important. And do you know all that stuff that a Pathfinders Club does? It has great relevance with the public authorities. There are already several laws that create the Pathfinders Day in Brazilian cities and a lot of support coming from different spheres. 
Eu como vereador aqui. Me as a counselor here in the city of Rio de Janeiro, I had the honor, pleasure and satisfaction of creating a law September 12th, the day of Pathfinders celebrated here in the city of Rio de Janeiro is on the official calendar of our city. Such is the relevance and importance of this work that I know it has a transforming impact on the lives of our children, our teenagers. It really changes and shapes and forges our children's character. It's what we need in these difficult times, sometimes very easy social networks, the internet, and the pathfinders bring our teenagers, our children, to this vision of knowledge, culture, leisure, and above all, of respect for parents, respect for institutions, and respect for society. Our work also draws the attention of entrepreneurs and merchants who see the club as a transforming agent. Pathfinders, they teach a lot, they teach for life. It's not just a club that you come to, that you leave your son in the afternoon so he can do nothing. On the contrary, he comes to learn many things that you, father, sometimes do not have time to teach. And in Pathfinders you teach, you learn. It is an unusual necessity, because really our young people were getting lost, and now you see a spark of hope and a bigger heart and mindset, not just those who are there, but we are their kin and associates. So for me, it was the best event in recent years in Montenegro, in the social field. Wow, I even got emotional here with Mr. Dalton. That's about it, folks. It's about changing lives. And I could also stay here for hours talking about the importance of the club. But who better than our families to emphasize what we want to shout to the world? Being a Pathfinder is too good. É bom demais. The club, I think there are several hours that talk a lot about family being together. And really, all they're going to do is do it like this. There's, oh, your son is going to present such a thing, come dad. And I think that helped a lot for us to observe the general way the club does. The club takes care of our children. And through that, I saw a lot of change. It's hard. You keep a discipline son there. It's not easy, especially these days. In the generation we live in, I tell all parents, whoever can be putting their son is putting a vote of confidence, not only in the club, but in all the people who are there, because you're really doing it with a lot of love. And that's what I saw. Love, union, that's it. After the break, we will take a look at an inclusive church in Italy that conducts a variety of activities and programs focused on serving others. We'll be right back. Did God create dinosaurs? It's easy to look at these huge, terrifying creatures and wonder if a good God would have made them. They are also used as evidence for evolution leading some to deny they existed. But the fossils clearly show they did. That doesn't mean God wanted deadly, man-eating monsters in his original creation. Our world changed, and now we have fearsome predators like sharks. Yet, the world still has many gentle creatures. Today, predators tell us something of God's power. But we know he never intended violence in his beautiful creation. Dinosaurs may inspire awe, but just as we look forward to the lion lying down with the lamb in God's new creation, we can hope that dinosaurs in their original gentle magnificence will also be there. 
Ever wish you didn't have to fold laundry, mow the lawn, or take out the trash? A study published recently in the Archives of Internal Medicine found that seniors who expended the most energy on daily duties were less likely to have mental declines as they aged. Participants in the most active group were 91% less likely to experience declines in memory, concentration, and language abilities after five years than those in the least active group. And that's a fact. But there's hope. While a regular exercise program is an important part of a healthy lifestyle, don't overlook physical activity throughout the day. The seniors in the most active group burned most of their calories in activities of daily living, reporting doing more walking, climbing more stairs, engaging in more caregiving and volunteering, and just moving more overall. Although not typically thought of as exercise, these physical activities get our heart rate up and improve circulation while also protecting brain function. We love being members at Church in the Valley because Church in the Valley is involved in service where young people can get involved in various ways. We appreciate the fact that our church has a passionate focus on young people from adventurers to young adults, from pathfinders to youth, from Sabbath schools to acts of kindness. This is what Church in the Valley is about for us. And with all this, we see lives changed, people connecting with their Lord, and loving the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. We may look, pray, read, think, worship, sing, and share differently, but we all look forward to the Sabbath. And we all look forward to the future when Jesus will come again. With this message in mind, we arrived at a core component for a new identity system, the creation grid, a simple seven column structure for layout. The grid is a reference both to the prophetic timeline as well as to the creation week that culminated in the seventh day Sabbath. Regardless of what or where you are designing, you can always find information to help you communicate that we are all Seventh-day Adventists. Newsweek magazine recently published a list of the 500 best summer camps in the United States based on social media reviews and a survey of 15,000 parents. Five Seventh-day Adventist church managed camps made the list, including Mivodin Camp and Retreat Center in Idaho, Camp Akita in Illinois, Camp Osable in Michigan, Lone Star Camp in Texas, and Sunset Lake Camp in Washington. The list does not provide a ranking, but categorizes camps by state. Newsweek emphasizes the importance of summer camps for children, as they offer unique opportunities to explore new interests, make friends, and gain independence in a supportive environment. The list serves as a resource for parents to choose a suitable summer camp for their families. Thanks to the contribution of the 13th Sabbath offering from 2016, the Ragusa congregation in Italy was able to build a stunning new church. Let's see how this congregation conducts a variety of activities and programs focused on serving others. When Stefania was younger, her family owned a house by the sea in Sicily, Italy. She noticed that every morning a neighboring family with five children met outside to read the Bible and pray together. One morning they invited her over to join them. One of the brothers, Andrea, was particularly wise and also made me laugh. He was kind and totally different from other guys our age, so we started to date. And eventually he became my husband. As they dated, Andrea taught Stefania about Adventist principles. She started attending the Adventist church and felt welcomed. After studying and praying, she was baptized. In 2016, Stefania's congregation in Ragusa, Italy, appealed to Adventist members around the world to help them build a new church. Another church member, Marco, remembers how difficult it was to worship in their old space. They occupied the bottom level of a large building. The neighbor upstairs was constantly complaining that they were disturbing him. 
He would often hit his floor with a stick to let us know he wasn't happy. But one time, he came downstairs and shattered the front glass door with the stick. Thanks to your 13th Sabbath offering contribution, this congregation was able to build a stunning new church. It's absolutely beautiful to be here, in a place where we can be free to worship God without the anxiety and fear that we will upset others. Sometimes I come into the church before everyone else because I'm responsible for music and worship. I come to test microphones and prepare. Sometimes I just stop and gaze at this beautiful space and tears come to my eyes. The Ragusa congregation hasn't wasted any time putting this space to use. They conduct a variety of activities and programs focused on serving others. One way the Adventist Church has impacted my life is by giving me the possibility to give back, to give back part of the blessing that God has given me, not just in terms of money, but also in terms of time and service dedicated to people. An often underserved population is the immigrant and refugee community. Adventists in Ragusa use their new space to conduct Italian language courses that help new residents qualify for jobs. The church's support helps these individuals make friends in a social environment and gives them confidence to navigate their new home. At the end of the course, we have a party for everyone who passes the final test. We have the party here at the church. A lot of people have the opportunity to know the church, its members, and its message. Adventists in Ragusa want the love of Jesus to be felt by everyone. So they host events where the physically disabled can feel comfortable and have fun. My dream is that this church may become a totally inclusive church. That everyone who comes here knows that Christ died for them. Thank you for providing a safe place for church members in Ragusa to serve their community more. Your contribution to this 13th Sabbath offering project in 2016 has impacted countless lives. To discover more about mission stories and trivia from the Adventist movement throughout the years, check out the Adventist Archives YouTube page featuring David Trim. Head over to the This Week in Adventist History segment. Thank you for watching ANN. Join us next week for more news from the headquarters of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Did you know the Seventh-day Adventist Church has a YouTube channel where you can watch a and video, a and in-depth, and plenty of other amazing videos on prophecy, health, and Bible study? Just go to YouTube and search for the Adventist Church. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you never miss a new video. And remember, leave a comment or a prayer request. We have a team dedicated to praying for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Before we say goodbye, we'll leave you with some good news from the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That's our program for this week. And remember, you can always visit Adventist.news for daily news and videos. Until next time, when we will have more news of faith, love, and hope. God bless.